Um, do you feel uh, do you feel that um, it's something that once you reach a certain milestone, once you've had an awakening or an enlightenment, then suddenly you're you're going to be like that for the rest of your life, or is it something that we go into and out of? That's a very good question. This is uh, something that a lot of people have very serious misunderstanding about, because I think the word enlightenment sort of like give people the impression that you're enlightened, like now you are all yeah. good, you know, yeah. like um, that is a very serious misunderstanding. Um, for in the Chan tradition, uh, we we use the phrase seeing the nature to refer to the enlightenment experience. Really, is talking about how one has a glimpse into, okay, this. Um, what it what what it means, really, to not be to be able to really see the true nature of reality for yourself. Like you may have heard that many many times in talks and read about it, but like you really experience it and like you get a really profound understanding of it. Uh, but that exp- that but that will uh, but the fact is that we our habitual tendency is so entrenched that it can. Take over again. The main difference is, like um, uh, my master, Master Shinyan, talked about it. After that experience, one will know clearly how to deal with our vexations. Meaning, how, like, how we 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 will be able to see how we are creating our suffering and know what to do with it. Versus prior to that, like there will still be confusion. That's the main dif- that's the main difference. So to answer your question, actually, that's um. That's something that was uh, discussed by um, um, our sixth patron, Master Huinan, uh, who is a very important figure in Chinese Chan tradition. That is like, it's moment to moment. You might be, you might this moment have enlightened, enlightened thought. Now you are not different from Buddha. Next moment, you give rise to these foolish thought or really vexation. Then you are an ordinary person. Mm-hmm. And so, then the practice. That's why after um, the enlightenment experience. Practitioner will find it even more important to stay with the practice moment after moment after moment, and because you know so much more clearly that the moment you uh, allow yourself to hold on to the ideas that something this should be permanent, um, you should know better by now. But like then, but we slip into that. Then that's the moment. That grasping, the moment grasping, that you know right away. The next moment, you suffer. You see that very clearly. The more you see that clearly, the more you know that what you know what to do. Mm-hmm. But we can still slip up and make the mistake. And um, so, for these individuals, they know very clearly how often they make mistakes. These are what we call mistakes: the slipping up in moment after moment, mm-hmm. the grasping. Want more? Click here for the full interview. Click here for more awesome clips, or here for the full episode. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hi, I'm Kevin, and this is Giovanna. We're traveling around the world talking to spiritual masters about meditation and awakening. Join us on our adventures. All you have to do is click subscribe.